I wanted to kind of express like anything I'm thinking or going through into art. So yeah, and I wanted to do uh, wheel throwing and pottery. Building stuff is wonderful and makes me feel like fulfilled. And so that's what I want to, to get across, is that making and building stuff is really rewarding. I just finished my uh, slab pot. It was like a piece that we were supposed to make to just express like our imagination. And I modeled my piece after the Mad Hatter's hat out of Alice in Wonderland. An art, working in an art material, I feel like it is good grounds for conversation and for um, self-expression and so if I can be pretty transparent and and talk about myself or ask them questions that are not too personal but they can talk about themselves a little bit I think that helps big time and I think in my approach to interpersonal relationships I try to be open and honest and and not too intimidating. We're about to start our Sgraffito um, piece, and it's kind of a cultural piece on like our background, our eth ethnicity, anything like that. It kind of expresses your background, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Eighth grade, I decided I wanted to teach art, and that uh, I wanted to work with clay, and so ever since a pretty young age, I just wanted to work on art and work with art materials to be in the, in the studio space and to, to enjoy my time there. So I feel like it is, it's a wonderful place to be, is surrounded by art and making art. And so that's always, it's just been like a magnet for me personally. And kids, kids gravitate towards the space to where it is. Sometimes there's music playing or sometimes um, they walk into a room where they know no one and that can change a lot over the semester. Relationships are formed, they can talk and, and kind of relax a little bit and be themselves while they work. I like ceramics class because you can be free and like put your words that you can't say into a piece.